Hello, brothers and sisters. This is Lisa, and I'm here to share the latest word given to Allie Winters. The title is Spiritual, Not Physical, and this word was posted November 5th, 2019. October 1st, 2016. Wait, my child, wait. Quiet in your mind to receive from your Abba Father words of truth. Do not be anxious. Wait. It is coming. Coming quickly. Evil lurks in the shadows awaiting the call to advance. Donald Trump will be assassinated. My child, prepare for war. I felt this meant he would be killed. But I am learning that more often than not, Holy Spirit speaks to me not always of physical matters, but of spiritual. As the character assassination continues, as the visceral attacks against him intensify, as war rages within our government dividing our nation, I wonder. An impeachment inquiry against Donald Trump the 45th President of the United States was initiated on September 24, 2019 and is ongoing by House Speaker Nancy Pelosi. I urge that petitions, prayers, intercessions, and thanksgiving be offered on behalf of all men, for kings and all those in authority so that we may lead tranquil and quiet lives in all godliness and dignity. This is good and pleasing in the sight of God, our Savior. March 1, 2019 After Donald Trump leaves office, darkness will intensify. You have much work to do and little time remains. Work while it is day, for night comes when no one can work. Will he complete his term? Will he be re-elected? A word misunderstood perhaps more than most. March 29, 2019 You have six more years to get ready and be prepared. You have six years to warn the sheep. Use your time wisely. Once Donald Trump leaves office, things will change drastically. Many read six years, and then all hell would break loose. I did not understand Holy Spirit to mean that. Rarely does change happen instantly. It is a process. I felt when I shared the word that we Christians had six more years to get our house in order, to warn the sheep, to get ready and be prepared for what was coming, because after Donald Trump, who has been a strong supporter of religious freedom up to this point, leaves office, things will radically change, and not for the better. Sadly, many felt betrayed as they eagerly await the rapture. Six more years was a lifetime for them. Again, Holy Spirit spoke of spiritual matters and not physical this is not and never was intended to set dates, frighten, or upset anyone. These are warnings to get ready and be prepared. This was and is an urgent call to action for the Christian, a stern word of warning for America. 1 Thessalonians 4 verses 16 and 17 the Lord himself will come down from heaven with a loud command, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trumpet call of God, and the dead in Christ will rise first. After that, we who are alive still, alive and are left, will be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. The time is approaching, but is not now. There still remains a work for the people of God. The harvest of lost souls truly is plentiful, but there are so few laborers who will labor in the fields for the lost. Pray earnestly to our Lord.
that he would send you to your knees in prayer for such as these. And that is the end of the message. I will post the transcript in the comment section for all of you. I pray you all have a blessed day in the Lord. God bless each and every one of you. And I will see you either next video or in the air. Bye-bye.